Hello Capricorns, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your weekly tarot reading April 30th to May 6th 2018. So the first card showing up the topic of your week is going to be the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> the second card representing the core of the situation, this is going to be the Moon card. The third card represents the challenges that you need to face uh, and uh, tackle with, this is going to be the Eight of Swords. And the last one, it represents the guidance the Tarot has for you. We have the Six of Pentacles. So all that the week says, guys, is that you don't have to deal with everything you got on your plate on your own, although you're going to be prone to do so. And uh, this is a, a week where you're going to feel a little bit insecure due to the fact that you will not know where your, uh, where your relationship, for example, is heading toward or where your career, for example, is heading toward so it's kind of like there is a uh, some sort of a um, <clears throat> you know a, a field where you will feel insecure as I said due to the fact that you don't you cannot predict the outcome of it and that's why we have the topic here ten of wands which means that you will be uh, extra careful and extra uh, devoted to that particular field with which actually could overburden you in a certain way uh, <clears throat> And uh, as we do have the, the Eight of uh, Swords, it is very important not to be biased about the expectations that you do have based on your performance into that particular field. In other words, you are working um, very hard, you know, and you are expecting that this hard work is going to pay off in a certain margin, all right, with a certain currency, but in turn out that it doesn't pay off exactly during that week. Well, don't you worry, guys, because as I said, this week nothing will be decided, so the payoff could happen further into the future, but what it is expressed here with the Ten of Wands is that a payoff will happen, first of all. Second of all, what you are doing is awesome. I mean, it's, it, it really has a value. And the card also says that um, you will be quite in harmony with uh, the people around you, and especially those you are working with, and under work, I don't mean only professional work, but as well career, uh, as well relationship, alright? Because the Ten of Wants also points that you, whatever you do, somehow you will be able to please others, okay, and you will meet their expectations. Now, <clears throat> With the Eight of Swords, however, it is very important to elaborate yourself a little bit more when you are trying to explain something, because this card could be also a sign of disruption into communications, you know, uh, something that you try to explain, it is not really understood very well, and people could do stupid things, bend on a, a vague understanding upon what you want them to do, or upon, uh, you know, what you expect from them. And also, uh, especially when uh, this is a, about communication in between you and potential person of interest, you know, as a, for example, relationship, then they could very well uh, misunderstood what you're feeling for them, what your interests are, and how you plan to do them, you know. <clears throat> Or it could be that kind of a uh, uh, an example where you don't want to have anything with a, such a person, but because you are not elaborate upon it, they still have these wrong hopes and they still continue bothers you. All right. <clears throat> so uh, the guidance here that we do have is the Six of Pentacles, which does points that um, how can I place it? At that point that you need to maintain the hierarchy and what I mean upon that is that you need to know where exactly your place sits and you should not allow anybody to interfere with your work and in the same time you should not interfere with anybody else's work. In case uh, this is about your career guys, do not trespass your boss or you don't go behind your boss to, uh, to deliver something to the owner of the company or to a um, potential customer, etc, etc, always follow the rules of the hierarchy here. As well, you need to know that what you can achieve on your own, no one can help you there. In other words, uh, you can uh, use help from others or you can use help as well for financial or, um, you know, um, 
material one uh, and I mean under the efforts of others so you can use that someone could tackle with your difficulties but that will not resolve your difficulties unfortunately here guys your difficulties and your problems can be resolved only when you uh, start taking on them instead of leaving the job for someone else so what I'm trying to say here is do not leave your job to someone else if you want to make something right do it yourself and it is exactly what it is explained here in these um, in these cards now uh, a few more words I want to say about these couple of cards guys the more control you are trying to establish the more secure will uh, you will start feeling so uh, you should put extra attention and extra efforts into the field that you are feeling very insecure as I said that could be your career friendships relationships etc etc is going to be different for every single one of you but if you are feeling um, you know um, a vague explanations for something ask for ask for elaboration and as well do not be afraid to um, to demand um, yeah explanations and reasons as well behind the actions of others so that being said Capricorns this is uh, your weekly tarot reading for the upcoming week I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye